Welcome back guys. Thanks for tuning in to another video. I wanted to talk tonight, today, whatever time it is where you're watching this, about the importance of printing your photos. Earlier this year, I was really excited about changing my photography style a bit in the fact that I wanted to bring photography and making photos into my personal life. Every single day, I was walking around with my phone capturing photos, but what I realized is most times, and a lot of the time, all the photos I would take, I would never see again. It would be in my 20,000 images on my iPhone and I would never see them again. And I wanted to break that habit. Earlier this year, I actually purchased a brand new camera specifically for this project. I knew that I wanted to start printing photos. I knew that I wanted to start carrying a professional camera every single day. And the camera, after all the research I did, was the Fujifilm X-E4. I'm gonna get into that in a different video, but this thing is absolutely incredible. The tactile buttons, the clicks, all of the different things that I get to do on this, and how amazing some of the Fujifilm recipes are, really have made photography fun again for me. It doesn't feel like I'm going out and shooting with one of my professional cameras and a tool. So let's get into those three ways that I've been printing photos right now. Film photography is making a massive comeback in the last couple years. And if you are shooting on a point and shoot or some sort of film camera, I hope you are paying the extra few dollars or developing and printing the photos yourself. Shooting a roll of film, waiting a couple days for it to develop at the lab, and then getting those scans back and walk in and actually feel printed versions of the photos in your hand, is hands down one of the best experiences. And I think it's something we've lost a lot over time. So if you are not at this point, pay the extra few bucks, have hard copies in your hands that you're able to enjoy and experience, give to friends and family and the people that you shot. The second way that I've been printing photos in the last couple months is by using an Instax printer. If you're not familiar with Instax, Instax has a ton of different products that help you print photography and allow you to have hard copies of photos. With the Instax that I use specifically, the Instax Wide Printer, it allows you to develop instantly, like Polaroids, the photos that you take. My favorite feature of this is that I'm able to take on my Fujifilm, transfer directly to the Instax printer, and print photos on the spot. I've done it multiple times when at birthdays, at events, going on family trips, and in that moment, I'm able to then print photos of what just happened, handing it to a loved one, a friend, or someone that I just interacted with, and giving them something hard copy in their hand that they can feel tangible to take home from that. I think that really leaves a lasting impression and means a lot more to them than sending a link down the line saying, hey, download your photo here or texting it to them later. This is something that is lost, but it's definitely worthwhile doing. So make sure you check that out. The third way that I've been printing photos since the beginning of this year, and actually what started this entire idea or experience slash kind of project that I'm working on is chatbooks. Chatbooks are a really cool company. I first heard of chat books by a good friend of mine, Mark Buckwater, who recommended them for printing photo albums for weddings or other high quality things. But he actually mentioned that many times he and his wife will go on a trip and at the end of the trip, they will purchase a small chat book of the images that they took on their trip. Having something yet again tangible and what I've learned at this point, my daughter who's four and a half years old, she absolutely loves these books. She sits there and reads the books and looks through them, telling stories or almost holding them, teaching her little brother about what was happening at that point in time. She's reliving an experience. And that at the end of the day is the exact concept of why we take photos, why we make photos. We want to capture those moments and relive those experiences. And with kids nowadays, that essence is gone. They're so used to seeing themselves growing up on phones and digital. They're seeing these videos of them all the time. But for her to sit down and grab one of these books, and look through them and see that moment and relive that moment and story tell that moment to her little brother, it's hands down one of the most cool and unique things. I mean, at the same time, they're also absolutely stunning looking. The quality is amazing. It was $100 for 12 months of books and there's 30 pages per book. And it's super, super simple. There's a smartphone app that allows you to do it 
from the comfort of your own home, sitting on the couch while you're watching Netflix or doing something else. It's super easy. I highly recommend checking them out. So those are the three ways that I've been printing photography since earlier this year, and it really has helped me become a better photographer. Capture these moments, memories for a reason, flip them around later, give them to family members, create things that people can hold on tangibly for years to come. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you guys in another video. If you have any questions, comments, drop them down below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. See you guys later.